The truth is, Spider-Man No Way Home is an absolute blast to talk about even after it's come out. A lot of times in a community we get really excited for a movie and we talk about the movie and the trailers and leaks and easter eggs, but then the movie comes out and the hype kind of dies out. So with Spider-Man No Way Home it's been different. People are still excited to talk about it, to share their opinions and to talk about what Andrew and Toby were thinking, so many different things going on. And overall this movie has just been a huge pleasure to cover here on the channel. Now today we're talking about something else new with Spider-Man No Way Home and that is some official concept art that is coming out directly from the artist who is on Twitter and has posted four new photos of what they were working on for the film. Hey everybody, welcome back to Cosmic Culture, the channel where we talk about all major movie and television news, theories, breakdowns, and much, much more. If you haven't already, consider hitting that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any of our daily uploads. Also, I'm starting to wonder, what was your favorite moment of Spider-Man No Way Home? For me, it really just had to be the conversation that the three Spider-Men had on the scaffolding prior to the big final battle. I just really enjoyed the banter and the back and forth and the support, and I really could have watched a few hours of those conversations happening. So let me know what your favorite part was down below. Now, the person who has created this, and I'm saying the person because I cannot pronounce this name, there is just no way I'm going to even try, I will just absolutely butcher it, but here it is, and this is what they said on Twitter with one of their concept art posts. One of many frames I worked on for Spider-Man No Way Home, together with my buddy, who built this amazing set iterated for purpose of each concept art. So they drew out and created a 3D visual representation of what the movie could look like. And this first one here in particular is a really awesome setup of all three Spider-Men standing on the Statue of Liberty. Obviously we did get this frame, it's this picture right here, but this one's a little bit different and has a really cool epic moment to it where they're standing there ready for battle. I also wanna take a note on how cool and how much art and visual capabilities have advanced over the years. Old concept arts used to be, you know, almost like sketchboard drawings where they would put up a black and white or slightly colored, roughly drawn image. Whereas here we have completely recreated animated moments from the movie, much like this next one we're gonna talk about, which almost looks like a picture from the film. But all of this was digitally created as concept art for the movie, and this is a scene seemingly from the very beginning after his identity is revealed and him and MJ swing away. You can see a police van there, you can see his mugshot up on the building next to the Madison Square Garden sign, and a really cool swinging fashion with the web kind of whipping behind him. Obviously MJ has a little bit of fear and confusion on her face, and the entire crowd is looking at him this concept photo was obviously also used very well in the film as they continued forward showing the issue that spider-man and peter parker were going to have now that everybody knew who he was this opening sequence to the film which picked right up from far from home had a very fun feel to it but definitely a panic feel and this concept art definitely shows that as well this next one I think is really, really cool. It's concept art of Happy Hogan's apartment. And this is almost exactly what we got in that apartment. Actually, it is exactly what we saw in that apartment. You see right there the stairs, the kitchen that leads into the secret room where they were doing all the work. And then the upstairs where they fixed Doc Ock. Then, you know, the TV room. And it, it's a very, very, very close recreation of what happy's apartment would eventually go on to look like in spider-man no way home i actually enjoy this one a lot because they had fun with spider-man's character here they gave him a little web hammock he's hanging off the side of the building happy's out there talking to him you see aunt may in the kitchen with dummy preparing dinner it's a lot of fun and that's something i think that this movie all around has demonstrated every single person who's involved working with it from the concept artist to Tom Holland, Andrew Garfield, and Tobey Maguire just had an absolute blast. Andrew Garfield was talking about earlier how, yeah, it was a very serious and very awesome moment, but every chance we had to have fun, we took it. And that was really just demonstrated in the film as they're all freaking out about three Spider-Men on one screen. And that is really really played through the movie. You can just see the excitement of the actors. It's not all just acting. Some of it is just actual emotion, the excitement of the moment that they were filming. And I think the fans really got to feel that when the movie hit the big screen. 
This last one is also a direct moment from the film. The artist and their team did such a good job with these concept art photos, it was essentially drawing up the storyboard for the movie. Now this is after he's gotten his black suit, he's off to hunt Electro, Sandman jumps in and protects him thinking that he's Tobey Maguire's Peter Parker. Here we get a very cool detail that I actually wish showed up in the movie, and that is after the electric hits the sand, the sand seemingly turns into glass. And if you don't know, when you heat up sand, that's how you get glass. So electrocuting sand would definitely heat it up. And then they have this really cool glass wave kind of falling over Peter Parker. That's a really, really cool detail. We didn't ultimately end up getting that in the movie. Maybe they talked about doing it and it was just too much work to add for a small detail. But regardless, it looks incredibly cool in this concept art here. And this scene we saw directly played out in the film as well. Just like I started talking about at the beginning of this movie, I think that the amount of fun that everybody had filming it, creating it, putting it together, it is just evident in the product that we received, in the concept art that we see here. Everybody was excited about the idea of a Spider-Verse happening in live action with iconic Spider-Man actors like Toby and Andrew meeting up with Tom Holland, who everybody loves and enjoys his rendition of Spider-Man as well. Sony says they want a huge future for this Spider-Verse character. They want Andrew Garfield back. They're talking about Tobey Maguire coming back. And even one leaker said that they already want the three Spider-Men back on screen together as soon as possible. How all this will come out and play, if it will be as genuine and as honest as Spider-Man No Way Home, I don't know. But I'm definitely here for it, and I'm definitely excited to see how it develops. Let me know your thoughts of these cool concept arts down below. Let me know your favorite moment from Spider-Man No Way Home as well. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our daily uploads right here on Cosmic Culture.